The science of fighting is the art of hitting without being hit. Half that definition is not being hit. But we spend 90% of our time working on punching the kicks. How many of you, when you work the heavy bag, double end bag of focus mitts, hit and work on moving after hit? Hit, work on blocking after hit. Do you work as much defense as you do offense? When I watch these cardio classes, which where a lot of these bad habits are coming from, people hit the bag, pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. See, you set up, pop, pop, pop. Circle, circle, hit it again. Slide over, slide back. Did everybody see it? Roll the shoulder, roll the shoulder. Hit it, block the knee, block the knee. See, all those little defensive drills, which give you just as much exercise benefit as the punches and kicks. Like when you block the knee, as long as you bring that knee above the waist, see, you're going to be working these abdominal muscles up in here, okay? Now watch. Biggest problem I'm seeing with the K1 fighters and even my own guys, you guys out there fighting this, you're getting hit too much, and it comes because when you train, like the shadow fighting I'm showing you now, which I want you to carry when you swear and hit that bag, we don't teach people effectively how to mix your offense with your defense. It's a major problem in martial arts today. Please listen to what I'm saying. Mixing the two together. Instead of going bump, bump, bump. Come on, ball. Come on, ball. Offense, offense, offense. This is what I want you to do now. Hands up. I want you to throw two punches. Just going with a shotgun. A straight jab with the right hand. One, two. All right, now, as you throw those two punches, I want you to move your head between the two punches. Watch this. If I fire the jab, notice my head is right behind my jab. So my face is straight in front of Randy's head. As I pull my jab back, he can come right over the top of the right hand. Boom. Does everybody see that? Okay. Randy, slow it down for these guys from Tennessee. <laughs> okay. Now what? So, as I pull my left hand back and hit him with my right hand, he comes right across that little gap of my elbow. It's called the right cross. I get nailed before I hit him. So what I want to do is, when I throw the right hand, bring it in. I'm going to come that four inches to the side. So the sugar. Punch goes over the shoulder, punch over. Does that make sense? So I got defense here because I'm moving my head between the two punches. All right, try that now. Don't lean, just move the head over about four inches. So you start to work defense now between these two punches anyway because you get it here more than eight. Every time you punch, you pause with another punch. On some sort of head movement between those two punches, or when you kick and then punch, on some kind of head movement between the kick and the punch. All right, that's one thing you can add. Now, as soon as you finish a punch, I want you to immediately go into a slip. Watch this, we do a little shotgun. One, two, slip, slip. One, two, slip, slip. Right into it. One, two, three, four, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now it's gonna be hard for the guy in the tower to punch you. Now we can open up with two slips. Watch it. Slip, slip, then punch. Slip, slip. Go. Slip, slip, punch, then slip. This is called blending or mixing your offense and your defense together. They are integrated. One complements the other. They must complement each other. You don't separate them. You make them complement each other. You marry the two together. That's why I don't like teaching offense separate of defense, because it creates the bad habit from the beginning. All right, let me repeat. 